Something tells me over the next couple of weeks, as more and more information comes out and as less and less progress is being made, we're going to see all of the markets be the first to react. We're going to see the numbers going up. We're going to see the numbers going down. And it's not just the precious metals market. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great and staying safe. Today, I want to talk about a potential second stimulus because we got some more updates today. I also want to talk about how this could eventually affect the spot price of both silver and gold. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really Really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today is Monday, December 7th, which means Congress is back to work this week, or at least according to them. They're supposedly going to get back to work, and then I'm sure we're going to see tons and tons and tons of progress and success. Anyway, they are pushing back the December 11th deadline to now December the 18th. So with the potential of the passing of a second stimulus, and on top of that, the possibility of the government shutting down, it's expected to be a highly volatile day in the stock market on the 18th. So for those of you who are involved in the stock market or for those of you that invest, it's probably a good time to keep your eyes peeled. Mark your calendars. But on top of that, there's a new report that shows that 17% of all restaurants in the country, 110,000 different restaurants, have closed long-term or shut down permanently this year. 87% of the restaurants that were able to stay afloat have seen at least a 36% drop in revenue, 59% have higher labor costs, and 58% expect to lay off even more workers over the next three months, which is going to lead to the unemployment numbers continuing to go up and up and up unless this thing gets taken care of. Now, the reason I talk about this is because with everything going on in the world, when it comes to world news, when it comes to economic news, when it comes to the unemployment numbers, when it comes to potential stimulus, when it comes to everything, these are just a couple examples of things that could potentially affect the spot price of both silver and gold. Now, as I'm recording today's video, the spot price of silver is in the 2450s, $24 and 50 something cents. As I'm recording the video, I don't expect it to move very much at all, at least not until we get closer and closer and closer to the 18th. Because as we all know, when the stock market is going through high volatility, and when there is a massive amount of economic uncertainty and people are throwing money in or pulling their money out, we see the numbers start to fluctuate. And oftentimes when we see one market start to move, the next market right behind it can start to move as well. It's not necessarily a reflection, this is happening, therefore this is going to follow, but oftentimes it's an indicator, and oftentimes it's the foreshadowing of what's to happen in the next market. So with silver being in the 2450s and gold being in the 1860s as I'm recording today's video, these are pretty much the numbers that we've been used to. We haven't seen silver or gold do anything extreme these last couple of months. We've seen silver stuck in the $24 range. Sure, it went up to 25 for a very short while. Sure, it dropped down to 23, then 22 for a couple of days, maybe a week. But here it is, right back up to the $24 range. And very similar can be said about gold. Gold has been in the 1800s for the last couple of months as well. It did drop down to the 1700s when we saw silver drop to the $22 range, but it was very short-lived. They both climbed right back up to where they were. So it would appear that $24 an ounce silver, give or take maybe a dollar or two, is probably the new normal, at, at least for the time being, and gold could probably say the same thing in the 1800s. But I wanted to talk about this today because oftentimes when one market begins to move, when we see a lot of money moving around over here or lack of cash being flowed over there, we see other markets react as well. The markets are unbelievably quick to react to these sorts of things. And with unemployment 
clearly being an issue, with unemployment going to continue being an issue, with the second stimulus being waved over our heads, teasing us with it for the last, what, six or seven months now, I'm willing to bet that by the time December 18th arrives, I would not be a bit surprised if absolutely nothing gets passed. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if there is absolutely no progress, no success, no anything. Something tells me, now this is just me speculating over here. I don't like to do the whole conspiracy, you know, paranoid type of thing. But something tells me both sides are dragging this out. Both sides are waiting and, and, and pushing it back and delaying it as, as best they can because... As I've been saying for pretty much the last six or seven months now, the second we get a second stimulus, everyone's going to be asking when's the third. When do we get another one? When do we get the next one? When's the third one coming out? When do we get more, 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 more? So something tells me they probably know that that's the case. However, it's also important to remember that the eviction restrictions, I, I can't remember off the top of my head what it's called, but how a lot of states and a lot of places you're not allowed to evict tenants, that ends come January 1st to my understanding. So... January 1st is only a couple of weeks away. It's almost 2021. So with all of these restaurants, 58% of the surviving restaurants expecting to lay off even more workers over the next three months, over the next three weeks, we might see an eviction crisis. And if we still don't get a second stimulus by then, then we're still going to be freaking out about that. The unemployment numbers are going up. There are people who have not even gone back to work this entire year. Many of you already have. Many of you live in different states. And as we all know, all 50 of the states are essentially 50 different planets because they're all on completely different pages. But there are a lot of people who have yet to go back to work. As many of you know, I've been working three jobs for the longest time. One of my jobs shut down earlier this year and has yet to reopen. So that job, it's been pretty much non-existent this entire year. So I was only left with two jobs. Now of the two jobs left over, one of those two shut down as well and didn't even open back up until a couple of months ago. And guess what? Thanks a lot, Murphy, governor of New Jersey, shut us back down again. So I'm not working three jobs at the moment. I'm only working one. So a lot of people, and I can speak firsthand experience, have still not gone back to work. And it's unfortunate. Many of you know, I've been saying this all year. I like paychecks. Paychecks beat stimulus checks and unemployment checks combined. Paychecks are where it's at. But moving forward, I think the spot price of both silver and gold could really begin taking off and dropping back down and taking off and dropping back down. Something tells me it's about to get kind of sporadic again. Something tells me that it's about to experience a lot of volatility. I wouldn't be surprised if over the next couple of weeks we see silver go from the $24 range to 25, 26, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 22, 23. I wouldn't be surprised if it goes up and down and up and down. That wouldn't surprise me at all. It also wouldn't surprise me if we saw gold go into the $1,900 range or even all the way up to 1950s again. I wouldn't even be all that surprised if it went back up to 2000 although something tells me that's not going to happen over the next couple of weeks. I wouldn't be surprised if it went back down to the $1,700 range as well. Something tells me over the next couple of weeks, as more and more information comes out and as less and less progress is being made, we're going to see all of the markets be the first to react. We're going to see the numbers going up. We're going to see the numbers going down. And it's not just the precious metals market. It's the stock market. It's the real estate market. You guys got to keep your eyes peeled on absolutely everything. Anything in the realm of finance, even if you're not involved, it's important to stay informed. It's important to stay educated. It's important to stay alert and keep your eyes on everything. I've been saying it all year. Keep your head on a swivel. And that includes the markets that you have no affiliation with in any way, shape, or form. Maybe you're stacking silver and you are one of those people who you're anti-stock market because if you can't hold it, you don't own it. I would still pay attention to the stock market anyway. If you're not involved in real estate, like myself, I'm not involved in real estate. I don't have the currency to get involved in real estate as much as I would love to do that. Hopefully one day I will be able to. I'm not involved in real estate, but I still pay attention to the real estate market. You got to keep your eyes on all of the markets, all of the charts, all of the graphs, all of the numbers. You gotta stay paying attention to the unemployment numbers. You gotta pay attention to the progress or lack of progress when it comes to 
stimulus, because guess what? When they say stimulus, they're not just talking about stimulus checks. They're also talking about helping these businesses that are crumbling right now. It's not just me and you getting a free thousand dollars or 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 two or twelve hundred dollars or anything like that which by the way it's not free money those are your tax dollars that you paid into so the stimulus check that's yours if we get another one please understand that's not the government saying hey we're here to help that's yours that was yours to begin with don't forget that but moving forward if we were to see a second stimulus which at this point I couldn't even care less about a second stimulus check right now. And, and another 1200 or a thousand or two, whatever, whatever their plan is or, or, or whatever it's going to be, if it even comes to fruition at, at this point, it's been hung over our heads for six or seven months. Now I, I've completely lost interest. I'm not going to sit around with my fingers crossed, like, like begging for a second stimulus check. I've already made peace with the fact that it might never happen. So, I would rather tell myself that it's not going to happen and then be surprised if it happens than to tell myself that it's for sure going to happen and be disappointed and essentially smack myself in the face if and when it does not happen at all. That's the way I see it. That's in my opinion from my perspective. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy with a camera sharing my opinion, but I'm also sharing some of the facts and I'm very curious, everybody watching this video right now, what are your thoughts on everything going on? And I'm not talking about being opinionated and, 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 and speculating. Let's try to stay factual. Let's try to stay logical. Let's try to stay objective and look at the numbers. Right now, 110,000 restaurants have closed down long-term or shut down permanently. That's 17% of the restaurants in this entire country. 87% of those that survived and stayed afloat have seen a massive reduction in revenue, 36% drop or more. 59% of the surviving restaurants have higher labor costs and 58% expect to lay off even more workers. We already have an unemployment crisis right now. That number is expected to continue to climb unless something gets done. Anyway, I'm very curious to know what everybody thinks of the situation and how you think silver and or gold will be affected by all of this, if affected at all in your opinion. What, what do you think? Do you think this is going to lead to silver and gold beginning to climb? Do you think it's going to cause silver and gold to fall? Do you think it's going to be a short-term thing? Do you think it's going to be a long-term thing? I personally don't think much at all is going to happen. I personally don't think silver and gold are going to do anything insane. I do expect to see some volatility I, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw the numbers go up and down a little bit but i don't think this is gonna cause silver to officially take off i don't think silver is gonna go you know 30 40 50 60 dollars or anything like that i don't think gold is gonna go to 2300 dollars that's not what i'm expecting that's not what i'm insinuating in any way shape or form like i said these are just a couple examples of the long, long list of factors that play a role in causing the spot price of silver and gold to move, whether it be in an upward or a downward direction. I always say it and I'll continue to say it. There's an entire list of factors and everything on that list of factors has a separate list of sub factors. There are so many reasons for silver to go up, so many reasons for silver to go down. And with our economy in shambles at the moment, and with all of these massive companies and corporations and all of these different sectors suffering in their own right and suffering their own way, we see a significantly smaller demand for silver at the moment because, you know, the number one player in the global silver demand is the jewelry industry and how many people are going out and buying rings and watches and chains and earrings and, and bracelets and stuff like that. I would imagine a lot of people still are, but compared to last year and the year before that and the year before that, I would say there's a huge cut. I don't know the exact numbers, but I am curious to know what are your thoughts related to everything going on at the moment with this December 7th update in terms of the precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller, easier to manage. 
I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course you can watch all of the YouTube videos commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1,500, and I appreciate that. And I got a brand new video dropping tonight. Keep your eyes peeled. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stacken t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations. And of course, the DYDSS Christmas line, which is helping raise a little bit of funds and awareness for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, only available until Christmas, so get one while you can. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know, do you want more updates like this when it comes to stimulus, which is, I guess you could argue is a lack of update because we still don't have very much information, but do you want more updates like this when new information comes out, when new reports come out, when it comes to the numbers, when it comes to the statistics, when it comes to the unemployment or the restaurants closing, for example, as I shared in today's video, or the deadline being pushed back from the 11th to now the 18th and with the government potentially shutting back down. Do you want that included in these videos? Because I believe they could impact the spot price of both silver and gold, more so in the short term rather than the long term. We could see some near future volatility. I don't think it really plays that big of a role 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now, but head on down to the comments and let me know if you want more updates like this, if and when updates come out or you could share your thoughts on what you think that the spot price of silver and gold are going to do over the next couple of weeks. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.